listen to some lo-fi. Pretty good to listen to while you're riding. Just have it on low. And just cruise there. Man, I see bleeding, stupidly designed speed bumps. Badonk. Twenty six point three miles a litre at this speed. Very fuel efficient bike. If you ride it, uh Casually. If I put it on uh, 8,000 revs, uh, you'll see it'll drop down to maybe 15 or uh, 10. I'll do it if there's an open road on Shoya. what it drops down to nine point nine is what it dropped down to nine point nine dunk da dunk da dunk da dunk nine point nine miles a litre if you do full speed like that and it's a twelve point sorry eleven point nine litre tank <coughs> there was a post out here a few weeks ago about somebody stealing sheep from the nearby farmer's field. I think it was this farm here where the sheep were stolen from. It would be easy, very easy to get to them, but. Uh, Mad, mad people. <whistles> I can hear my rear disc um, rubbing on something like a metal noise. But I know it's fine, so I don't need to touch it. Drink. Thirteen point one miles, Alisa. 
to then pull it back down to about uh, 6,900 RPMs. Pull it back down there, 6,900. About 26.5 miles a litre. 27.9 and I'm doing just 46 it says but I know it's about 44 great scooter great acceleration and when I do come to upgrade this uh, to a new to a newer bike or scooter um, this will be changed to a a newer version or maybe the Yamaha X-Max because uh, I or if, if it doesn't have it, the uh, wireless key start I'll get the X-Max just simply because I don't like wireless key starts it's not because they don't work or anything it's just it's just not my thing I used to have a, a, a dealing with an electric key start and I'd much rather have the key to be honest but that's just me everybody's different I guess it's weird to think that this is actually a 50 road Come on, bird, hear me right the way. He just fifty nicely up up a moderate hill. We'll be coming to a steeper hill in a moment. After the uh, crossing the main roads. I will say though, upon upgrading to the uh, Melosi Maxa Delta uh, clutch, it runs a lot better, a lot smoother. Instantly notice it when you're riding. Oh. I look at completely open one way <laughs> in a line of traffic the other way. Come on, I didn't know there was something behind me there. See, this hill starts off small, but it builds. Oh, that stinks of manure though. It builds right here. I'm on full revs right now. Steep hill. Doing around 41, 43, 45. But the the hill is leveling out, so. Oh, bloody grit on the road. Hate it. If you can hear that, that that metal rattling, it's just my rear disc. It's not a problem.
really can't, can't, can't say not buy a scooter. Definitely, definitely recommend it. And I've had both the, uh, well, I'll say both. I've had the X Max, and I've had a Dale in, uh, in maxi scooter shape. Uh, my first scooter was a, a 50cc Kimco Agility. That, that was fine for the first few months, and then I upgraded to the X Max. Uh, it was a 2006 X Max fuel injection. Same as this. So let's, I'll, I'll go through what I've upgraded on this. I've changed the standard brake pads only when they warm down. No point in changing them if they're just fine as they were when they were new. But when the uh, when the rear one warm down, I changed those over to uh, Brembo Brembo brake pads. Uh, I've changed the. Uh, Change the uh, variator and rollers to the um, Melosi Multivar 2000. I've kept the belt as a stock Honda because I don't trust any others. I've had snaps on some other ones on other scooters over the years, so I only trust the the ones that they supply themselves. Um, so. Yeah, I'll stick with the Honda ones. Uh, another thing I've changed is the Maxi Delta clutch that I was mentioning er earlier. Changed the Maxi Delta clutch to... Oh, sorry, I changed the Honda clutch to a Maxi Delta Multivar with the... Uh, the, the upgraded clutch bell as well. Uh, as you can see, I've changed the brake levers to to the uh, blue adjustable ones and I've also upgraded the exhaust from the, the stock one to a full £300 uh, price £300 price um, Yasuni full kit exhaust gives it a much better sound I don't not sure if it makes a difference on speed, but the standard one sounds too basic for my liking. Uh, the screen, the screen I upgraded to the uh, Puig uh, light smoke um, extended. That's on the max height it is right now. That's the max height it goes. Pretty great for wind. Not going in your face all the time. I've added these extended mirrors. It's quite simple because you can't really see it outside the original ones because the uh, your arm covers like 60% of it, 50, 60% of it. Hmm, what else I added? Uh, I've added the uh, the phone dock there, the OEM Honda phone phone dock works great. Works just fine. Great for sat nav and putting music on before you start riding, which is usually my case. Hey, I got some. Uh, crash bungs on the exhaust as well, just in case you crash, you don't scratch all your bike up.
So other than that, I think that's it. Oh, and these metal floor mats down here. A guy gave me them. Uh, gave me them from a group. I offered him money, but he wouldn't take it. So I got those floor mats for free. I think that's about it for the upgrades. I am contemplating getting my wheels changed to um, Subaru Gold. Subaru Gold rims, but I'm not quite sure how it's done. Because I think I'll have to take the bearings out when, because uh, when they put it in the oven, they'll obviously get destroyed. Oh yes, yeah, I forgot to mention I've got some. Uh, Auxiliary lights on the front. I'll turn them on in a second. You'll see on a on a on a different switch. I don't know if you'll see them in the daylight, but there's yellow. Yeah, can't really tell in the day. Uh, I need to replace those auxiliary lights though, because um, they have both a, a, a white and a yellow, but the the white doesn't want to work anymore. Checked all the wiring. The wiring's fine. Still giving the uh, the voltage reading, so I'm guessing the the white bulbs are probably broken. It's all a cheap Chinese bulb anyway. They're only like twenty pounds or so, fifty and twenty pounds. So I'll probably replace those with some some better ones. bits and pieces that you know, you can see here, these four the caps and these extended extra mirror places here in blue uh, I changed from Honda's original heated grips because they was awful and then after that even one side stopped working altogether so what I did was I changed those to these Oxford uh, Oxford Premium or something like that heated grips about sixty pound off uh, Amazon uh, and they were great. I've not been putting them on lately because it's been really hot out here. But yeah, they're great. Best buy I've ever had probably for the bike, <laughs> especially in winter. <laughs> I think that's about it for modifications. Yeah, but I'll, I do. I do definitely love this scooter. One for a one two five, it definitely packs a punch. The best I had out of it once was uh, seventy five. I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep it at 75, I wouldn't scream it at 75 all the time, but it's good to know it, what it can do. Something good to know. Got a couple of Honda stickers on on the uh, got a couple of Honda stickers on the um, the plastics, and I've got a, a custom sticker that I did that I made. It says the Wigan Rider. I think it was quite cool myself. Looks like a tattoo on the bike in uh, dark blue. Oh, another thing I'm going to buy as well. 
uh, is uh, some rim tape because the one that I bought was rubbish and I'm not really good at putting them on so I'll, I'll just pay a shop to put some uh, blue rim tape on at some point and then uh, I think after that I do want to get a tail tidy but I can't justify a hundred